Hello, welcome back to Grand Sushi Lam Tuning. In this episode, I will be sharing with you uh, some kind of ideas. Um, basically, using sphere chalk nodes and geometry nodes, you can kind of simulate what a Blender Boolean can really do. So uh, there is an add an add-on called Box Cutter. Okay, first of all, and Box Cutter gives you interface on top of uh, Blender so that you can do like a quick cut like this and this will actually uh, very interestingly this will generate a uh, modifier boolean modifiers and it also makes a cutter uh, the cutter is basically like a box but can be also other shapes like a cylinder and this cutter is basically still something that's alive and you can make changes at any time because it is basically boolean What's really interesting is, uh, of course, the interface that's giving, uh, given to a user. And I thought, okay, this is like brilliant. And I wish uh, this is something that can be like node based as well, right? Because it's really, uh, really, really useful for you to get uh, blocking and get an ideas across. So anyway, we're going to do the same thing now using SphereChalk and geometry nodes okay so we start with a cube right and then we're gonna create a geometry nodes so i'm gonna open up geometry uh, geometry nodes so we have a box and then this this box uh we're gonna add um stretch of nodes because stretch of nodes is uh, also can also be alive and then you can add objects on the fly that's what I'm gonna do so I, I, I will create another box and gonna output the box of course with this box you can do a lot of things and especially interesting is this matrix in that you can put in into the box by doing that you can actually move the box you can scale the box in XYZ. On top of that, you can also you know scale the actual box in unit size. But this is uh, this is what I'm talking about. So the box is still alive, and you can control this while you you make like a boolean cut inside geometry nodes. Okay, so let's let's save this very quickly. So this is geo node and spectrum of nodes working together so it's better actually looking at this this way so stretch of nodes generates this cube and then geometry nodes will handle it so great so we can use object info grab our stretch of color and use boolean to do the the next job, you know, like if the sex union or difference. So this is exactly replicating what uh, box cutter is doing, but using just nodes. What's missing here, however, is the interface like box cutter. So that's uh, that's maybe for the future. Um, so we have the queue. And we have the alpha objects. So we're gonna cut the cube using the alpha, okay. The cutter, okay, the cutter needs to be alpha. All right, so you see what happening. So it's become the cutter. Um, with spread chalk, you can have a viewer draw, which is actually really super handy so this is the cutter this is the actual mesh is actually hidden but the cutter you can still see it using the viewer uh, viewer drop okay so this is gonna be our cutter and yeah it's, as you can see it's very very fresh style
let's try making it cut let's make it cut like that okay so so that's the first cut okay you can totally control everything this is the first cube uh, let's say you want to make another one so the beta is going to be second color but we're going to continue working here with the boolean for now uh, we can use intersect union difference for now for the next one i will use another difference with uh, another object is going to be beta so this geometry we're going to cut and continue working this way so you can see the boolean everything is clean our base object is the default cube and the the modifier is only using that everything is clean the nodes gonna grow and we're gonna continue using this method so let's make another cut so it's totally up to you how you wanna for now I'm just using default cube because it's simpler so again I just make another cut so let's say for the first one we still we want to make changes you can still do that let's say you want to make uh, some kind of array uh, you can actually do that as well let's do it this way I'm gonna reset everything and so this is going to be the third cut i will hide the older cut and let's see in order to make array in spectral there are many many different ways you can plug in lines into the matrix of this guy so this is one way you can do it it might it might take time to get used to it but once you understand it's pretty easy so you can have line and you can transform it Let's, uh, let's make a cut down there adjust, adjust this array oh. okay and let's merge this thing And we can always still um, we can adjust the size of these and we can probably um, in this case to make it simpler you plug the matrix there while here you still have another matrix and control the scaling okay so i think this is better so this object is going to be the next cutter for our default cube so this is still kind of new idea even for me i but it's going to be pretty powerful once you get used to it there we go 
So we have the whole thing working now. So we have control over the queue. The size of the queue, etc. There. Let's adjust the shape. Okay, so like I said, um, it takes a lot of uh, a little bit of more time, you know, like to move things around and to set it up because we don't have like a box cutter interface. But imagine if you have like a box cutter to work on on a three D view, while in the background you have something like you know like stretch up and also geometry nodes in the background so what's gonna happen is uh, it's actually really, really quite powerful I don't know if it's if uh, Blender can do it this way in the future uh, we don't know yet because Blender is always evolving but this is one idea that maybe can be implemented uh, by Blender developer or maybe like with Spectrop developer as well I'm just gonna be sharing it for now. A uh, spectral developer also maybe can implement something like the interface. Currently, spectral spectral works like this with the nodes, and it's all it's still really powerful and parametric. Some people still get used to work with just the nodes, and then we have this now, uh, you know, geometry nodes, which is like can behave like a modifier. But inside inside modifier, it's actually a really really powerful paradigm. And on top of that, we have of course we have this kind of a box cutter setup. I really think box cutter is like really quite uh, ingenious. It's always pretty inspiring. And don't forget, like with spare chalk you also have uh, things like a uh, bevel, things like that. So it will, it will work in theory. For you to make some kind of rounded edges like that. So at any time we can scale our cutter. And we can continue working like this. So we're gonna cut more, cut, but for, but for every cut, uh, we always have to uh, keep in mind that uh, it's gonna be like live objects. So you can see, even with just three simple Boolean cut, you have something that's quite advanced looking. And don't forget also one thing, with, a, with this guy, with the default queue, you don't actually need to use that geometry. You can, you can use object info, get our new objects delta, and simply use that as the starting object.
So you got what I mean. This is, this is our starting object. You can see Blender Boolean is handling everything in the background. You can scale. You can transform. You can also even like rotate things like that. So now we have super, uh, you know, like a lot of control. So basically, four different primitives objects, all this kind of array that you can still make changes. So if only we have like a box cutter of system, maybe like to work in the 3D view, to work together, and then it's gonna be really quite powerful. Okay, so it's all started with just the default cube. And now, okay, default cube, geometry nodes, and stretch of nodes. All right, so imagine working this way to make your, uh, you know, like make object, some kind of robot or like architecture, uh, whatever, whatever that you have in mind. Okay, so that's uh, really pretty much it, what I want to talk about. Uh, hopefully this is useful. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Uh, thank you. Bye.